So Stitch, Thank can you. you tell us what is happening in the summer? Uh, yeah, I will try. Uh, I, I hope there too will be less COVID and that we can all do uh, happy little dances all summer. Um, so there is a hacker camp and this session is basically a meet and greet. So there's only a few introductionary slides of what is happening, what does it look like, what's the, where's the organization standing, and you can do some questions for the recorded bit, and then we can do like close the session and recording, and then you can ask all the things that we do with money laundering and fraud and embezzlement and such. Uh, well, uh, you can uh, ask Laura some more detailed questions. Basically, everything we do as an organization of a hacker camp is open, from the permit to, to whatnot, the budget and such. So. Uh, yeah, it's not really so much that uh, we, we can hide. Um, only the uh, passport of me and some other people are private. So, um, May Contain Hackers is a hacker camp um, this uh, summer from the 22nd to the 26th of July. Um, and it was postponed, uh, postponed for one year. Um, uh, like uh, COVID came and then the EMF 2020 Got, uh, got cancelled, like this is the, the cycle of hacker camps over the years. So you basically have a Dutch camp, you have the British camp, the, the German camp, and I did, this is the CCC logo from the shoe, shoe store, I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> I made a slide in one minute. And uh, COVID came, uh, EMF got cancelled and everybody was sad. Then uh, MCH got cancelled last year, which was uh, yeah, really not funny. Um, luckily we refunded everybody because like prices have gone up insanely and well that sucks um, so this year there will be two large hacker camps emf in uh, the uk in two weeks yeah. and in one and a half month there will be one in the netherlands uh, that's may contain hackers um, so what does it look like this is the camp from 2017 which has the name sha and for branding purposes or something, we change the name every time, so we have to promote the event every time, like from scratch, and it sucks, but that's the way the Orga wants it, so uh, I'm fine, we have to deal with that. Uh, coming up with the name is basically the hardest part of the hacker camp. We do a contest for that, and it's like a month, and people, we get like 40 submissions of names and concepts and mood boards. And, it, uh, and it eventually it got down to uh, May Contain Hackers. It was the funniest. Uh, and like the domain was, I think, registered five minutes before we chose like the, the top three domain, the top three suggestions were domain registered and then the choice was made. <laughs> <laughs> you know how that works. Uh, so what does it look like? Yeah, it's, it's pretty big. It, it, it has a harbor on the top left. It has these huge track tents. Um, and the new layout of the terrain will be much, uh, yeah, look much different. Um, there's some pictures from uh, the past event, like uh, we had these illuminated tree lines, uh, lots of, uh, yeah, LEDs and lights, of course, uh, lasers, uh, a poffertjes kraam uh, next to the Sha uh, sign. Uh, the Crocodile Lake, which will not be happening this year because it was a lot of work. It looks so simple, but it isn't. Um, and of course, uh, we have uh, close contact with the uh, authorities. They uh, sometimes drive over the terrain. They don't know how to deal with computers. And uh, we were like, we gave them a flamingo so they s would stand out a bit more. <laughs> um, so it also had uh, a nice electronic badge. I'll come back to that later. Um, yeah, there was a harbor, of course, the datum close, you know, from uh, yeah, every other hacker camp, a lounge, uh, ransomware on your badge. So, <laughs> <laughs> and of course, track tents. Uh, there were three track tents with a capacity of about a th one, two, or f capacity of about thousand, and one of five hundred or something like that, if I remember correctly. Um, so this time, uh, there's some new things happening, and I'm really happy th that those things are happening. It's, uh, first of all, it's the electronic badge that has had an upgrade. I've got a sample with me if you want to uh, yeah, touch and show. It's an old sample and they, yeah, <laughs> they changed a little bit. Uh, they tried different colors. I don't know if that will be final. 
uh, they added some holes that you can easily uh, tie it around your uh, uh, strap or something. Uh, but the chipsets remain the same. Uh, also, please do not ask where we got the chips from. We just have the chips, all right? <laughs> um, it has a color display, an FPGA, it has an ESP32, so you can run Python. And basically, if you're a complete novice to program and programming, you can uh, do something with, for example, making LEDs go on and off or uh, display something on the screen. So it's really a, a friendly way with a web UI. You can plug it into your computer and you have a nice, nice web UI. You can upload your scripts and such. So, um, that's new. Um, the network team is working really hard and it's still unconfirmed, but uh, there will be a 200 gigabit uplink if everything goes well. And that's pretty nice for a field. Um, and uh, well, let's, there's uh, 10 gigabits for everybody. So all the uh, copper ports on the fields are 10 gigabit. So basically you need 20 people with their 10 gigabit laptops. And finally we have the uplink completely saturated. And that was the goal for the network team for like 20 years now. So this is your chance to make them happy. Um, there's going to be a experimental um, new sound system in one of the tracks, the Abacus track. And this is a bit weird. It is a sound system that does directional audio. And basically, if you have this crowd of people here, I can pinpoint like this area and you will hear Rick Rolls and the rest hears something else. So that's, we can annoy people or, or we can say like the left of the room hears like music, I don't know, Armin van Buren and the, the right hears like the Commissaris Rex team. And it does not mingle, it does not interfere. And it has, or it can do even more weird things like the front rows hear something different than the back rows. Um, so there, we're able to play with that. It's a German based company and it will be announced soon, the name and such. Uh, you can ask after the talk what the company name is. Um, and for the first time, uh, we don't have a fully black or gray uh, dark uh, hoodie. But we, have, we just have a, a purple sleeve and like um, we went all overboard and tried to make no money on the hoodies. So they're like 50 euros now and they're, they cost 52 euros to make or something. So it's totally ridiculous. Uh, <laughs> so uh, get one. Uh, and, and of course, yeah, the normal stuff for a hacker camp such as this. So the normal people that uh, we now have a chance to see here at GPN again. So I'm really happy that this event is going through, uh, even with the masks. Uh, and I'm really impressed that, like for Dutch standards, the Dutch are really opportunistic assholes, basically. So they drop masks whenever they can. And to see that the perseverance and everybody wearing a mask here is top notch. So I'm really, this is really impressive. Um, yeah, so uh, there's a harbor, uh, there's uh, tracks, uh, three track tents, three workshop tents. There will be a few villages with content and such. Uh, of course, lasers and flamethrowers and other dangerous things. Uh, the MCH payment system, if you've not heard about it, uh, it it's, uh, uh, you can pay with ball pit balls, is uh, the idea. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, there's a, uh, the three biggest retro gaming groups from the Netherlands are joining and they have like an arcade and game consoles, home computers. Um, uh, in tradition, we are still making a loss on, loss on the parking. If you've seen the ticket prices for the parking ticket, they are outrageously expensive and we still make a loss on them. So uh, <laughs> it's like uh, they, they doubled the, the price somehow. It's, it's really insane. Um, yeah. Um, Capture the flag, of course, uh, heaven. So if you do like angel shifts, you just, there's like unlimited food and such. Um, so that's that. And the first speakers have also been announced. So like it's, uh, this is the first time this image is shared, by the way. So we, we announced uh, Mikko Hipponen and someone, I forgot their name from Bellingcat, the OSINT uh, research organization, which does really nice things. Um, and this is, uh, yeah, a, a, there's another speaker that does, uh, has a new vulnerability and does ownage of um, the Nintendo 64 and the, the, the TAS bot. So if you've watched Awesome Day Games on Quick, there's this bot that plays games and 
uh, this person shows what that bot does and such. It's really, really nice. Um, yeah, and of course, the practical things like from zero to root in 120 minutes and introduction of two WordPress, WordPress hacking. So if you want uh, yeah, your practical skills uh, to be sharpened, that's uh, the thing you, you, can, you can expect at a conference like this. Um, the terrain will also be radically different from last time. Um, it's basically uh, weirder. Last time we just had everything. And now there's a camping uh, way on the top that's not uh, in the picture. There's this pink area by scouting that we cannot access. Um, there's uh, the area at the top we cannot access, on the top right. Um, and we radically changed everything uh, in the setup. So the stages are now on the fields here on the, on the south. Um, there's a quiet camping over here. Um, of, on the right, and uh, if you want to have really quiet, quiet, silent camping, you can go to the right and all the way to the lake over there. It's really nice, but it's also a bit of a walk to get to the conference. Um, there's, there will be a family village uh, again, so if you have got kids, then uh, yeah, you will have a lot. We meet a lot of parents who also. Uh, uh, bring their kids and there will be a track and entertainment and such. One of my favorites from Xia was the workshop Making Bombs. And it, it was in the, in the family village, so for, for children. <laughs> but if that's next to your keynote speaker, like you have a keynote talk and uh, like a whistleblowing thing or how the NSA tracks you, and the second thing on the list is making bombs, it's like... <laughs> <laughs> Context is, is somewhat relevant. Uh, um, regarding ticket sales, we're doing pretty well, given COVID and everything. Um, there's uh, this, this the, the, the dark purple thing is this event, MCH, and the uh, lines on the back is the Xia ticket sales uh, from a uh, way ago. And you see on the where the black rectangle ends, there's two white dots. The lower white dot is the official number that is published on the Grafana and such. And the dot above that is the uh, number including the reserve tickets that we have for sponsors and such. They are already out, but they have not been given, yeah, handed out yet. So uh, we're doing pretty well. It's slightly above the uh, previous uh, uh, amount of sales. And there will be a moment like in a few weeks where we'll discuss like this will be the final number of participants and then we have a countdown and such. And uh, we hope that that helps with uh, ticket sales a little bit. Uh, that's what we did last time as well. And you see like, this graph going up and uh, in more steeper curve. So two months to go now. Um, the Orga itself, uh, it's a lot of volunteers, of course, just like all these hackers events we, we know. Um, and we have got a lot of teams and there's a lot of green teams and that means that they're doing pretty well. They're staffed well, they have budgeted and they bought things and such. Um, there's a few red things as well, as well. There's the need for one, two or three people to organize stuff. Uh, if you want to know uh, what that entails, what needs to be done, uh, yeah, we can, you can ask uh, afterwards. I've got a, a small uh, list of uh, vacancies that are the most important for the camp. So the info desk, uh, the, uh, I think, waste stuff, um, and the shuttle. And the rest is, is, is probably going to work out, but not happily if there's no people. So um, this is where the organization is at now. Um, so pr pretty well, pretty nice score. Um, there's also, there should be parking on there. If it's not, but it's on the thing there. Um, so the, lastly, the important date. Um, the 18th of June, there will be the last physical organ meeting, barbecue and uh, like party. The first also in the series. So uh, it's, normally we would have like every, a party and, and a barbecue every few months, but COVID, so stuff happened online. And now it's the first time that we can have a party. So we're going to do that. And in July, we will start preparing the field. Um, the 15th of July, there will be the first people on site and the heaven will be built up and the big tracks. And then the later, the smaller stuff afterwards. 
Um, on the 20th, the most villagers can arrive. They're allowed to arrive a little bit earlier, so they have set up time. Um, so they can actually enjoy the event instead of uh, being busy with two days build up during the event and one day build up during the event. And actually we have one day of event, so it's a bit nicer. Um, and somewhere at the end of the year, uh, there will be an after party, uh, probably in Hack 42 in Arnhem, which is close to the German border. So um, that's it for uh, the Orga thing. Um, oh, sorry. Uh, I